Hi, um, we're Youth for the Environment, we're a student organisation at university. Um, our main goals are environmental and educational. Um, however, we make sure that our events are um, interactive um, in order to involve students. For example, one of the campaigns we had was the Amor Leopard. Uh, we had an animal adoption. We had a Amor Leopard, a Vaquita and a Bonobo Monkey. These were shortlisted by the organisation and we gave students the opportunity um, to vote for which um, endangered species they thought youth for the environment should adopt. Um, at the end, um, we counted the votes and the Amor Leopard came up on top. Um, we sponsored the Amor Leopard um, on behalf of the students as Youth for the Environment. In fact, over here we have um, the soft toy that WWF sends as well because the project was also done um, in collaboration with WWF. Um, we intend on doing this as well this year through, and during Freshers' Week. So we hope to see you come by our stand to vote for your favourite endangered animals. And as Youth for the Environment, we will adopt this animal on behalf of the students. Um, another campaign where we involved students as well was Through the Lens. Um, over here we gave students um, the opportunity to submit photos where the theme was sustainability and the photo um, represented their, their perspectives on what su sustainability meant to them. Over here we have three of the photos and this was held in, at Bermuda Heritage in Bormla. Um, and it wasn't static because I said, as I said before, we prefer to have very interactive events. So throughout um, the, the event, it was a two week long event with the official opening. We had talks, um, a talk by Marco Cremona. We also had the debates by um, Arnold Cassola. Um, we also had school children that came over. We had um, students, um, tourism students from Wales, from the first from Wales that came over. Um, and we had school children and to close this all off, uh, to close this all off, um, we had a festival. It was a cuisine, culture and artisan festival. Because sustainability, as some people may think, um, is not only, does not only involve the environmental aspect, however there are social and cultural. So we tried to tie, tie in all these three factors together. Um, so we had cuisine, we had, we had artisans that came um, that came over and sold their goods and um, culture, the Bermuda itself is a social development museum. At the end the main idea behind this was, the main scope was that we wanted um, people to come up with a original um, sustainable tourism development plan for the Cospiqua and uh, the Senglian Burgo as well. Um, so this was the main aim of the event. So besides one of our, our big events of Through the Lens, we had another big event, which was Rabu for Japan, which was basically an initiative of Youth for the Environment, which uh, we joined 40 university organizations together in aid of the people in Japan after the earthquake and tsunami. The idea was to collect money, and a part of the money that was collected at the bar, which was held at Anvil Pub, was uh, donated to Japan Red Cross, and uh, basically this started through Environmental Week where we were um, they, uh, the pro some of the profits from the items that we were selling was also donated to, to the Red Cross Japan. Besides that we had Human Rights Week in which we were promoting organ donation and we also had representatives from the Malta Organ Donation Society to come and give a, and we, to host a debate basically on the pros, cons, on uh, organ donation. You for the environment, fight for your home.